Alright y'all, what is going on guys? Today we're back with another banger video and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we actually don't have a vlog. We have somewhat of a sit down vlog, but like, I just had a lot of unboxings and I was like, if I record this, it's probably gonna take up the majority of the vlog, so I might as well just make it its own video. So we do have a big unboxing haul as well as some pickups that I got off camera. Um, which I haven't opened yet, so we have a decent amount of things. We have some stuff for the shelves, we have some anime figures, we have some merch, some stuff like that, but we're going to be redoing the shelves today. Again, yes, I know, but in terms of redoing, I'm actually going to be expanding upon the shelves, so we'll have even more room on the shelves. Um, I'm still waiting for like one or two more packages, but I figured I would just show you guys because the other two aren't that crazy important, like you'll see them when we make the video, but nonetheless, enough yapping. Let's just get into this. We got something from Ikea, Entertainment Earth. Makari, Makari, and a bunch of stuff from Kino. So without further ado, let's open up all these pickups. If you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless, of course, I'm your favorite YouTuber. We're on the grind to 100,000 subscribers. Right now, we're on the grind to 90. Ultimate goal is 100, but... Let's get to that 90k if you haven't subscribed already, and stay tuned for the Redoing the Shelves video. First thing we're going to start off with is actually the bag, since I don't have to open it, but we do have a few pickups from Kino, and I'm not going to lie, Kino had a crazy restock the other day when I wasn't even recording. Like, I wasn't even trying to record. I made some TikToks, of course, because I had my phone on me, but I didn't have my camera on me, because I was just walking by, and I was like, let me just run in real quick. Keep in mind, I was there like two days before, ain't nothing new. That's the thing about Kino, you never know. You'll have a dry spout for like a few weeks, and then they'll boom, get a bunch of figures. So... We did wind up finally getting one of the figures I really wanted, which was this Evangelion racing figure. It's a figure of Rey in like a racing uniform type thing. And I just can't wait to make a new Rey section on the shelves when we redo the shelves. And I just love Rey as like, Rey is probably my favorite character design aesthetic wise. Like I love Rey's design, like the way that she looks, the color scheme, the animation style on her, like that whole vibe that she gives is just, she's probably like my favorite character art style wise. Like I love the way that they portray, they portray Rey and everything. So this one is a racing figure and it was only $19. 19 bucks, it was 19 bucks when at the other place that I was gonna buy this, it was like $40. And two figures that I don't own anything from. Never bought anything from this anime before. I keep saying it in the vlogs. I want to get stuff from it. I want to get stuff from it. I was waiting and waiting for these to hit the United States. We got some free Rin merch. We got some free Rin stuff finally. So I did get free Rin and Himmel right here. This is the only pairing I needed. I mean, obviously Stark would be kind of cool. I, I like a Stark figure. I have a Stark acrylic stand. I actually do have merch then, but this is like a, fi like a figure and stuff. And I really want the art book now. And I want to put these two in front of the art book. Like that would be so tough, but again, $19 each saw these I was like yo oh my god keep on this was all one trip I was like geeking and there was so many other figures as well but I was like all right I gotta chill which ones do I really want and these were the three figures that I wound up picking up I was like yo I need those we got these little mystery things of Evangelion uh, I don't know what they are but I think they come in like little packaging and it's like a vintage -y, like style keychain and I basically saw that there was four versions of Ray, so hopefully we can pull a Ray. Um, they were only $3.99 each, which isn't bad. I could have bought more, honestly, but I went with four because I really just wanted Ray. I didn't want, like the whole set or anything. Um, there's a bunch of like Ava units and the, the whatever they're called, like I don't even know what they're called, like the angels and everything, but I really just want the Ray thing. I think there's 12 different variations, so hopefully we can pull a Ray. We're gonna open these up right now. But yeah, that was the haul from Kino that I didn't vlog. Just opened up everybody. Here is what Freerin and Himmel do look like. Um, they stand like next to each other. So like they're kind of like side-eyeing each other, but they look so good. Very excited about these ones. Um, it's just cool to have some different type of merch. Like I don't have any figures from this series and I really did enjoy the series. So really cool. We got Himmel and Freerin right there. I don't know how I'm gonna position them yet, but we'll see. Ray is actually like decently sized. Like they actually do pretty good, like seg this is pretty good for their price and stuff like this is, they're both sega figures by the way but like look how much bigger ray is compared to himmel and then free run's even smaller because free run's small but like same price as these figures those ones are really detailed though like way more clothing and stuff but i mean this is a dope ray figure so can't wait to make the little ray section on the shelf now let's open up these mysteries all right first one Let's see who we do get. Come on, Ray. Again, I don't know like all the angel names and everything, so just ignore me. I'm just gonna like skim past all that. W W. We got Ray. Oh my God! Look, she looks so tough. Look at Ray. 
We got a little baby Ray, little angel Ray. And that's what it looks like on the back. All right, W pull, first pull, of the, first pull of the day. We got a little angel Ray right there. The versions are Ray too, so hopefully we can get the other versions now. But I mean, I'm kind of happy. We got another Ray. We got the other Ray. But um, yeah, boom. This is what they look like. And I love the packaging. They're like little um, they're like little like figure packagings. Like I love packaging like this. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I don't know if I wanna take them out. I don't think I wanna take them out. I don't know, we'll see which ones I get. I'll probably keep the Ray ones in the box. Or if I get a duplicate, then I'll take them out. But all right, third one. I think I saw blue hair get. Oh, okay, we got a duplicate. We did get a duplicate Ray. Not complaining though, because I'll take this one out of the box and I'll actually put it on something. So it's the same one as the first one. All right, last and final one. From what I can see, there is one more Ray version. So, I mean, if we could just pull the third Ray, I won't really complain. I mean, then we'll have all Ray. There's only three versions of Ray. So, okay, we got one of the, I don't know, I don't know the terminology, so I don't even want to butcher it. But yeah, that were these little Evon, yeah, these are cool. Like, I like the packaging and everything. So, that's what we got right here. And I got a duplicate Ray, so I'll take it off and put it on my keychains or something or put it somewhere. But... Yeah, that was the little Evangelion Mysteries for $3.99 each. Those were W little pickups. Like, I've never seen these before. Like, I think I saw the empty box once, but I didn't know what they were. So this is cool that they come in, like, little packaging like this and everything. So I'm happy I was able to get Ray at least. The first package we're going to start off with is this one right here. I believe this is a little, um, like, art book type of thing that I got on Makari. I saw it and I was like, yo, I kind of want this. Like, it looks cool. It's, like, vintage-y. And it was, like, only, like, 10 bucks. And I think I paid less than that because I offered the seller, like, eight dollars or something so without further ado let's pull this out boom oh this looks so tough okay okay so in case you don't know one of my favorite anime of all time is fruits basket now i've never actually seen or i've seen it but like i don't remember like i've watched some of it but 2003 fruits basket or whenever that was 2001 like the og fruits basket i never really like watched like that i watched the new one like two three times already but they had this old character book from the early 2000s. Uh, oh my god, it literally has the Kino. 2005 this book is from. And it has the Kino Kanuai sticker on it for $14. Yo, I wish our books were $14 still. Now they're like $30 to $70. But this is what it looks like. Cool, right? Just a bunch of black and white stuff about the characters and everything. It's literally just a character book. But the front of it is just so cool looking. And it gives me that vintage vibe. So... When I saw this for literally like eight bucks I paid for it, I needed this. Well, I'm pretty sure once I see it, I'll remember. I'm trying to think what I ordered because I ordered like a bunch of random things. The other day. I went on like an ordering spree because I barely order stuff online because th this is the reason. Um, but when I saw like some of the things and I put offers in. Okay, so we did get yet another Kenma figure. So, in case you don't know, I'm trying to make my little Kenma shrine. I have a bunch of Kenma stuff. So, I try to get, like, all the figures I can that are decently priced. And this one's, like, an older one. It came out, like, 2010-ish era. Um, like, when Haikyuu was first coming out. And this one goes for, like, a decent amount. Like, 40 50 60 70 I think I got this for, like, $20. It is used. It's not brand new, which I don't really care about. Um, but I'm surprised he even put the box in there. I didn't even know it came with the box. But this is the figure, and he's headless. So I just got my boy Kenma just chilling there with a ball. Chilling there with a little ball. Just holding it. Just chilling. <laughs> Mad small, because he's small. But, like, that's tough. So I got another Kenma figure. Very excited about this one because, like I said, I'm just trying to get, like, all the Kenma figures I can because I want to have, like, a whole shelf dedicated to Kenma. Next package we have is from Entertainment Earth, and I actually got this on sale for, I believe... Ten dollars? No, I lied. It was less. It was five dollars. It was ten dollars after shipping, um, because like Entertainment Earth, you need to spend like a minimum of seventy to get free shipping. And I was like, this thing is five dollars. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna try to spend seventy dollars because something's five dollars. Even though I, I would most of the time. But this, I don't know what's wrong with it that it was only five dollars. But it is from Fruits Basket again, so we're staying with the Fruits Basket theme, and it's this Toru um like paperweight figure type of thing so it's this i did not know she was big i thought it was like some small thing but i got this for five ten bucks after shipping ten dollars for this toru figure and it's her and her little rice ball i mean do we open it i mean i feel like we gotta open it it said it was damaged so i was like all right i'll take the risk like i just assumed the box was damaged but the box don't even look that damaged 
So now I'm kind of scared. Like, is the figure damaged? She looks fine, bro. She's never even been opened. Okay, so I see what's damaged. It's the back of her head. But, like, she's still tough. She's still tough. She's a little bit loose. A little bit loose, too. But, bro, I paid $5. This is a $30, $40 figure thing. So, we got a little Toru thing right here, which is really cool. Okay, and then last but not least, there's really nothing I could show because it's not going to make sense without seeing it put on the shelves and everything. But... It's literally just more shelves for the shelves. Well, I don't have a lot of space to put like, well, one, I should just get rid of stuff. That's really my problem. I'm gonna, I'm a collector. I have collector issues. Um, I'm out of space for the most part. I try to make space all the time. I sell stuff on whatnot, in my bio to whatnot, of course. Um, get $50 when you sign up and everything. But I was like, all right, how can I maximize this space a little bit better? Now up here, there's some Naruto Funkos and it takes up that whole top shelf. But I was like, what if I just get acrylic shelves to put up on the wall right there, and then that top shelf could become this Naruto set. You guys are gonna see when we redo it. But those are coming in on Amazon. But then, I was like, yo, how am I gonna make these shelves a little bit more, you know, useful in a sense? Um, so I ordered another shelf for both. So I ordered two more shelves. They're gonna, one's gonna go across here, one's gonna go across there, so it gives me an, another shelf to put. We got that, and then also I have one more thing coming in for a wall, which you guys can't even really see, but next to this, this skinny shelf right here, we have a wall, but my closet opens there, so I can't really put a shelf there or anything, but I got one of those pegboards, and I'm gonna put a pegboard right on that wall, and, I, and it's not in this package, of course, but I got like a bunch of things to put on the actual pegboard so we have like little clips and everything and i'll put like all my like just like little random things on there and i'll make it look like aesthetically pleasing or whatever but that was uh today's pickup so i'm basically just waiting for acrylic shelves from amazon and then i'm waiting for the pegboard from ikea and they're both supposed to come in today so i'm going to be recording another video today of redoing all the shelves i'm going to pull everything off the shelves yet again i know i do this like once a month but this time i actually need to pull everything off just because i need to be able to put all the new shelves on and I have an idea I want to like do some things but I'll save it for the video but yeah I got a bunch of stuff for the pegboards like little clips and stuff that go into the pegboard I can put some like pictures cards just little random like you can hang plushes hang keychains on the pegboard so I'm very excited about that to be honest I've always wanted a pegboard and I never had one. I had one back in like middle school but I wanted like one recently with like my anime things on it but yeah, so that's what was in this big Ikea box. I don't know why they put it in there. My shelves were slamming around. I'm surprised they're not, like, bent or damaged. But, yeah, that was uh, today's unboxing haul. I have, like, one more. Again, like I said, I have the two other things coming in the mail, but I just told you guys what they were. So next video, we'll be redoing the shelves. Stay tuned. And uh, that was today's pick up song. Baby, what's the vibe? Hop inside a ride. I know you want to slide. Know you want to slide with me. Because I'm vibing. Baby, girl, I'm vibing. Don't show up to the party with no violence. Don't show up to the party with no violence. I take you out. I break you out. I got you smiling. My love.